here's the situation we have. We're well used to this. We've got an element of uh, soil at some depth Z below the, the surface of the soil and total stress Z comes Z. That's fine. If we apply a point load at some distance <coughs> away from vertically above that point, um, that element of soil, and we apply the point load with intensity P to the surface of the soil, then what actually happens is that there is an effect, a component of stress caused by P that we must add on to the original sigma Z value. And we call that um, component, that, that a stress increment. It's an increase in stress due to the applied loading. Now, according to Boussinesque theory, we can calculate the magnitude of that stress increase in the Z direction by this expression here, sigma Z. So sigma Z is a stress increment. It's an increase in stress over and above the original value. And it is established as equal to three times the intensity of P, if P is in kilonewtons, P is a force in kilonewtons, times Z cubed divided by two pi R squared plus Z squared to five upon two, where R is the radial distance along uh, beneath from the point P acting on the surface of soil. What is the distance R? to the, uh, the element of soil that we're interested in. Now, P can be, in, in this example, if we consider X as a horizontal direction and Z as a Y direction, then P is some distance X away from above the, 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 the element of soil. But it might also be coming out the page or into the, the screen from us as well. So we would call that the Y direction. So R is the radial distance. It's, it's from Pythagoras. It's equal to X squared, uh, square root of X squared plus Y squared. But X is the distance that P is away from above the point of interest. Uh, in one direction and Y is in and out the screen direction.